very friendly, likes a crowd, and enjoys being the center of attention, like any politician. Humans aren't the only ones in the middle of an election cycle. One small town in Vermont appoints a mayor of the four-legged variety. Meet Lincoln, a Nubian goat and the first pet mayor of Fairhaven, Vermont. Elected to office in 2019, her campaign caused quite the international stir. I got a phone call from Paris. They wanted to know what was going on. And then this year we made the uh, Aruba Times. In 2019, the first round of the pet mayor race, just because I think it was the first time this was happening, word spread, especially in France. They were very interested to know how, what was happening, what's going on, why is there a goat being the mayor? Liz Streppa, a reporter for news station My End NBC5 covered the goat mayor's rise to political fame and her 2020 bid for re-election. But don't worry, Fairhaven isn't actually taking executive orders from a goat. The idea of electing an animal mayor really started because the school needed a new playground. Their playground is, I think, 30 years old. It's just really not safe. The slide has a big hole in it and it's just going down. So as a fundraiser to get a new playground, they thought of this idea, you know, why don't we elect a pet mayor? And that will spark donations. And that's really their only platform that these candidates are running for is to raise money. So these animals really aren't making any major decisions in the town. They're really more of a mascot to encourage people to donate money to get the students a new playground. Last year's election was pretty small. There were, I believe, three candidates. Lincoln ended up winning. She was a young, spunky little goat, very friendly. So I think that really helped her win that election. I think you saw what we swear. Lincoln's first day as mayor was very official, though politicians on four legs do come with their challenges. Last year, Lincoln was attending her swearing-in ceremony. She had a little bit of an accident. She lost some of her marbles, I guess you could say, on the floor. <laughs> I have a dust fan. There's a little bit of a commotion there, but it was very entertaining. She made her mark, you could say. That wasn't one of her finer moments. <laughs> she, I guess, had a pretty successful first term, which is why she was seeking re-election this year. The pet election turned out to be a huge hit, both in and out of Fairhaven. So when the 2020 cycle began, competition was fierce. Because last year was such a big success and there was so much publicity about Lincoln becoming the town's first pet mayor. A lot of students within the Fairhaven grade school wanted to nominate their own pets. So we had a bunny, a hamster, a horse. I think there were five or six dogs, five cats. There were 18 candidates. There were three main candidates that stood out to voters. Lincoln, the incumbent goat, Sammy, the police canine, and Murphy, the therapy dog. Lincoln had a very successful first term as mayor. Being an incumbent, a lot of people knew her name already, but she was definitely a front runner. She raised, I think, about a thousand or so dollars for the playground, but the goal is $80,000. They really need to raise a lot more money. Murphy thinks reading is important for kids. He thinks having a safe place to play and be outside and get off their phones is as important. Murphy, the therapy dog, volunteers at the Fairhaven grade school. So students were already very familiar with Murphy and Murphy's owner also had several fundraisers during his campaign. So he raised about $500 before the actual town meeting day vote for the school's playground. We were amazed that we were able to raise that much. <laughs> And then there's Sammy, the police canine. Sammy was actually a rescue dog. All the kids are very familiar with her and they're always wanting her to come in and pay a visit. So you get to vote today. Welcome to the election. Sir, step on up. Surveying the voters at the polls, a lot of them were very interested in what the name of the animal was, but also how cute they were. Why do you want Campy the horse? Because she's so cute. I voted for K9 Sammy because she's cute. Why did you want Peaches to win? She's cute and she likes to walk on leashes. At the polling place on town meeting day, a few of the candidates were outside kind of doing a meet and greet with the kids. So I think that could have swayed some of the undecided voters if they had a good experience. He's feeling great. He got to greet all the kids coming to vote. So it was his day. Well, I think she's hungry. That's about it. Because she's been nibbling on the building. It's a different sort of uh, day for her. Everybody loves dogs. And then there's even a greater population of love police canines.
Good morning, Fairhaven Grade School. The day after the town meeting day, I was in the classroom with a bunch of eighth graders who were counting ballots, and we were there as the results came in. You're going to count in groups. 20. 21. I want Lincoln to win because that is his goal. I wanted Lincoln personally because he raised a lot of money for the playground last year. I will say this eighth grade class was Chris Stanton's class. Chris Stanton is Lincoln's owner. So they were a little biased. They really, really were rooting for Lincoln to win. It's my pleasure to announce the winner of the um, mayoral race for Fairhaven, Vermont. This year's mayoral winner is Murphy the Dog with 146 votes. When it was announced over the speaker that Murphy had won, there was a little bit of a sigh. They were a little disappointed, but it didn't take long for them to start cheering and applauding for Murphy. They were very excited that passing the torch on and it's a new year. I think they're looking forward to seeing what Murphy will do with his mayoral seat. I think Murphy will do a great job with the playground fund, so I really wanted him from that st standpoint to win. Uh, yeah, I asked him, he didn't care, but he's happy. A new playground and an excuse to see adorable animals weren't the only benefits to the 2020 pet election. The kids were able to learn valuable lessons about exercising their voting rights. Your vote is your voice in the democratic process. You have a lifetime of voting ahead of you and I hope you take that chance every opportunity you get. At the end of the day, this whole pet mayor race is to raise money for the playground, but also to really introduce kids to the importance of voting and taking elections seriously, getting to the voting booth and making your voice heard. That's a right that we all have. You know, we're U.S. citizens and starting that process really early and getting kids excited about this process, that's really the goal of all of this. It doesn't matter who wins. The playground, the kids, that's what it's about. They haven't reached their goal yet for the playground, but they're really hoping that Murphy can pull through and get a lot of donations during his time as mayor. And of course, we had to know, will this small Vermont town ever hand over the mayoral office to a human? I don't think that Fairhaven will have a human mayor anytime soon because Fairhaven has a human town manager, which is essentially sort of the same thing as a mayor. He makes a lot of the big decisions. He oversees the town select board. So I think the town government is pretty comfortable with just having a town manager, but I think they also really love having a pet mayor. If you'd like to donate to the Fairhaven Grade School Playground Fund, check out the link to the GoFundMe in the description box. I'm Alexandra Stone, and from everyone here at Dispatches from the Middle, thanks for watching. This has been your weekly dispatch. Comment down below to let us know your thoughts, and be sure to subscribe for more Dispatches from the Middle.